Hey, my beautiful boys and girls, my cancer rights. I am the cancer man, and I'm here with some more um, um, Hibiki Euphonium uh, episode six, seven, and eight. Yes, finally doing three episodes. Finally, I have time to do three episodes. God damn. But yeah, jokes aside, I am doing the three episodes. Last time we left off, we were in the middle of the competition of um, the Sun Festival. One of you guys actually, uh, uh, to like, one of you guys helped me uh, with the uh, with one of the videos with the uh, what were they called? The Blue Demons. They're based off a real life uh, band called the Orange Demons. I forgot what the school was. I think it was a uh, Kyoto. I think it was the school. It was a like Kyoto High School. I think I don't remember. But uh, they're really good. I saw a little bit of it. I didn't see the whole thing. I almost saw like, I want to say 15 minutes of it. But they were really good. I'm like, these are high school kids? What the fuck? Damn, like they're really good. Like, holy shit. But uh, yeah, that was crazy. So to put that in perspective, like to see like the power, well, power level. To see the level of play we're playing against. Is uh, interesting, but I think they're doing pretty good too. I think they sounded uh, very good, and they got some recognition from the crowd. They were asking, "Whoa, who the heck are the school? Like, whoa, have they always played this good?" So we got some recognition. I don't know if we're gonna win or not, but um, I think the festival or competition is still going. So I guess we'll see what happens, and I guess we'll see how we placed amongst the other schools. So let's go ahead and let's start it with episode 6 in 3, 2, 1, play. With our Mr. Passive-Aggressive teacher, Taki, starting it off. Boom, 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 boom. I love how colorful this opening is. It's so good. It It's such a good contrast to the song as well because it's so happy. You just feel happiness. Alright, let's get into it. Wow. Wow, really? Yikes. Auditions?
Ooh, interesting. Huh? Twinkle, twinkle, little tuba. Fifty-five members. Okay. Right. No, I like I like it. I like it. It gives everyone a fair chance. <laughs> Cute demon. <laughs> Listen, he, the man's very passive-aggressive. What do you want from him? Yeah, I think she's fine. There's, what, five of you? Five? No, right? Oh, fuck. Kyle's dead. <laughs> You're right, you gotta have some ambition. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> this is hilarious oh my god oh that's hilarious Midori you suck <laughs> Ollie specific. Two thousand fifteen. Oh, that's what this. No, okay, that makes sense. Oh. Well I, well, I didn't know, so it was nice to know. That was really good. What the fuck? That's not that bad. Just slow. Sounds like on my tree.
whoa. <laughs> I remember. I had the same reaction when I did that once. Oh, man, it's hilarious. I've done that before. I had the same reaction. And I couldn't get it back in. Oh, man, it was great. What instrument was it, though? It was a different instrument. I don't remember which one, though. Was it a tuba? I don't remember. True. Chupa cabra, tuba cabra. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's definitely going to get it. Come on. Or maybe not. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Rip. Hell yeah. What flavor even is that? It's not like green tea. Oof. I heard that splat.
What? What? <laughs> oh, okay. That was weird. It's gonna be something super basic. Not motivational at all. Very plain and basic. Wait, what? <laughs> What? I didn't get that at all. What? I'm, I'm confused. Maybe it's maybe maybe it's because I'm not a tuba player, I guess. What does that even mean? Let's cut the chan. <laughs> that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Oof. The tickle monster is here. Seek weapon. Take one for the team. <laughs> what? Oh my. God, no. Cinder. Oh god, I feel so bad for her. <laughs> Damn, my god. Wait, she left. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, she was. She was tricked. Yep, yep.
Okay. Yeah, that that would have been perfect. That's right, I should get to carry you. Oh, what? I thought she participated in that. <laughs> All right, yo, that was good. Mission accomplished. Good luck carrying that, jeez. Oh! Whoa, what a save. Oh! Okay, all right. That was weird. That was really weird. It looks like Aoi already is already like calling it quits, huh? That's interesting. 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 All right, so Mr. Passive Aggressive was like, "All right, guys, I'm gonna hit a varsity team, and then B team, and then no team." And now I'm gonna pick additions to see who decide who's uh, qualified to be in varsity team because I really want to win nationals, you know, that kind of uh, schmeal. <laughs> but uh, jokes aside, I think it's pretty good. I think it, I like I like uh, the additions, you know, um, uh, auditions. Uh, I think it's a good idea, especially like I mean, like sure. Uh, seniors take priority some most of the time, but like you want to have your first years have some kind of a shot, at least a little taste of what they ha uh what they could be expecting if they are in the field in um to taste that like ex uh adrenaline and excitement and like be in the main team, you know. 
So I feel like it would be a good idea to give everyone a shot to really place where everyone's at. Plus, it gives uh, gives an idea to the students as to where they're placed and if they want to go higher, if they want to achieve better, or they just want to you know goof around and just stay where they're at and just play their instruments and just you know just chill, you know, and not really be competitive. Because I, I would imagine a lot of the kids probably aren't that like competitive. I would imagine some kids could be like, I just want to play my instrument, learn new pieces, and just chill. But I don't want to be, you know, I don't want to have the weights of having to compete and be scared that I might mess up. So I don't really want to be in the uh, competition. Maybe that's what Aoi probably feels too. Maybe she's kind of like that. Where she likes to play the instrument, but doesn't want to be competitive. Because there's a lot of guys and girls that are like that. They they want to do the, the activity, but they don't want to have the pressure of having to be relied on for the competition. Especially in team like events like that. Like, like, like soccer, baseball. Not baseball. I guess baseball. Uh, basketball and all the other sports that are team reliant. And, uh, of course... Uh, with like doing an ensemble and doing like some sort of an orchestra or in symphony even everyone relies on everyone like one section listens to the other section to know when they go and all that stuff right if someone messes up they mess up the entire section you know so of course it's like it's a lot of pressure so I can't really fault any of the students for like you know, not wanting to compete or not wanting to uh, actually try to b- make it to the 55 slot number. Uh, so that's why I kind of like the idea of additions. Uh, but of course, you know, a lot of the seniors probably won't don't really like it. So now because they got to actually try to certify their own spots, which is, you know, I can kind of understand and kind of like, ah, eh, just fuck like. Just get good, kid. I don't know what to tell you. Get good. Get good. I don't know. If you suck, you suck. As as the as Taki would say, if a third if a third year if a first year plays better than a third year, then uh, clearly you need to know what you need to work on, bud. <laughs> I just love how passive aggressive he is. He's so good. So good. I love Taki. I really do. I, I'm growing to love Taki a lot. Not one of my favorites, but he's definitely top five. Yeah, this episode was great. Nice. We got Hazuki to be more motivated towards her tuba and um, just the music in general. Especially since she didn't get to participate in the ensemble and all the uh, other like team little events they had going on. Which, that's what was missing from... Her motivation because it was like her listening to her own tune and for her perspective it didn't sound good but all she needed was to be a part of something and to make good music and to feel like accomplished for like for, for that that's great I like it I like it we're making a lot of good nice progress nice all right Let's go ahead and let's start episode 7 of Hibiki Euphonium. Episode 7, here it is. Let's start it in 3, 2, 1, play. I forgot how many, uh, they said they needed... They needed three, right, for the, um, for the percussion bass, uh, for the tuba bass, right? Or four? I don't know. They needed a, a small little number compared to our seven or six. I don't know. I, I need to see the stats again. I need to see the, the numbers to see which of our group would qualify. Because Kumiko, self like, she's the main character. She's the main heroine. Like, come on. She already qualified. Like, 
Of course. Come on. There's no way. I'm just trying to see who else from our side cast would qualify with her. But I forgot what the number of representation of the of that would be. I'm hype. I'm really hype cuz now that we have like goals and we've been told how the competition's going to be like, all these like little stages, I'm hyped to see uh them perform and them succeeding past through these like small stages to get to the prefecture. Yeah. Crybaby saxophone. Is that someone pl Whoa, that was that was really good actually. Wait, what? <laughs> Gee. That little bit I heard was really good. What was that? Wow. Yo, what changed her attitude? Wow, so mean. Interesting. She's quitting? Interesting. Well, I mean, she's focusing more on her college exams. So she's pr prioritizing that over um, the band.
Oh, he knows something. He knows something. Last year. Interesting. What happened? What's the fucking drama? I don't know about that. Mr. Passive Aggressive. <laughs> the fact that he could. This guy's really good. The fact that, like, he heard her while all this was happening and he's, like, singling her out, her out like that. He, this guy's really good at, like, music and, like, listening. Wow, that's crazy. That's big. Wow, holy shit. Oh, 
man, this is so heavy right now. Oh my god. That was rough. That was so rough. I don't even know what to say. There was a lot of things happening. That was a lot. That that was rough. Oh, man. That was a... Oh, God. I don't even know what to say. Jesus. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. That was really rough. <laughs> I actually heard that. Ooh. Yeah, I was about to say, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually, I actually heard that. I don't think it's that. I think it's the other thing that happened. Makes sense. That's true. Oh, that is pretty awful.
Damn. Interesting. She going to Ali's house? Oh no, she's going to her house. That was a weird transition. What is this flashback we keep seeing? What is going on right now? What the heck? <laughs> nice. I know that feeling. Sasuichi again. Are they gonna bo Oh man, of course. Of course. He doesn't? Why? Ooh. I, I kind of understand what he's saying. I understand. I think I understand what he's saying. Well, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> I didn't even notice that she was there. Oh my god. Wow.
Is it going to be about Suichi? What? <laughs> that was really flat out. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do I even... Oh, man, dude. This episode was kind of packed. Holy shit. This episode was huge. This was big. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> There's so much. So much happened. So much happened. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. I just needed to find out what the president's name was because I completely forgot. And it's uh, Haruka. Okay. Just uh, I needed that as reference because I needed to talk about her and Aoi and Asuka and the situation that happened there. <laughs> and oh man. Oh, that was crazy. Oh man, that was crazy. That was crazy. That was a lot of sauce. That was uh that was kind of spicy, not gonna lie. Damn. But 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 but, but it was kind of um kind of mended a little bit, especially thanks to uh Kaori who went to see Haruka and kind of just told her Hey, I, but you had the you had the courage to at least take up the role as presidency instead of Asuka. <laughs> but like you know, but there's there's a lot, and then with the thing with Suchi said about Asuka, is interesting too, cause I'm like, Asuka is a weird character. Now that we're getting, now that we're analyzing the characters, and now we're going deep in depth on these characters. Asuka, to me, seems like she puts up a front, and she's putting up this weird front of always being playful, and, like, all this other shit, and just, like, diverting, like, the tension, and just, like, she's, she, she comes off as a jester, but she has a lot of other, like, intentions, like, she has, she's kind of cynical in a way. And I like that a lot about her character. I like that there's like some sort of like cynicality towards her character. I don't know what it could be. I don't know whether she is serious about the competition. I don't know whether... Like especially finding out that last year when the when the band was split between tryhards and not tryhards. And it was Haruka, Aoi, and Kaori that were in the middle trying to put everyone like together and especially finding out that uh asuka was the one of the uh second years that was like neutral didn't like pick a side that's interesting like that is such a weird thing for asuka to do and then she was like obviously she was well liked by the third years and the first years and for the and her and her own years were saying that she should be the president when they took up third when they were going into the, their third year, she's like nah fuck that shit, everyone and the mood and all everything she's like nah I ain't about that life, and so it was placed on Haruka as like second, and then she became vice president, so that's interesting to note. So Asuka is. An interesting character. She, I want to know more about her character, especially uh, the way how she like interacted with Haruka, uh, Haruka in the hallway when she was crying and all that. That was like, like damn, like that was interesting. I don't know how to like, I don't know like what to make of that uh, interaction. I don't know whether or not. I don't know if she was being mean or like what she was trying to do. Like, I don't know. It could be a lot of things. Like, I can interpret that in a lot of ways, but I don't know what is like the correct way to interpret that scene with her on, especially her being so mysterious and so gestury like. <laughs> I don't know. That's crazy. But, 
we got more character death on Haruka that is interesting. She's has she's been put in this position with a lot of pressure, and a pressure kind of got into her, especially when Taki, uh, the 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 teacher, came in and was like, "All right." You guys want to go and compete for the Nationals? All right, fuck it. We're all going to be tryhards. And so it's a whole new shift. She doesn't have to deal with, like, the first years being um, not one, not tryhards. They're, they're, they actually want... Uh, no, not try. Uh, uh, she doesn't have to worry about the fact that the first years aren't um, not being uh, ignorant. And are actually aiming for the, uh, are motivated to aim for nationals. So, but because of all this added pressure and that she's also self-conscious that she's not good. And she's not leading them well with this uh, new wave of like fresh blood and like the, the remaining second years that had history the of the, the two-faction little war that was happened last year too. It's, um... Uh, of course, she would crack under the pressure, and especially since all the first years are like, wow, Asuka's so great, why isn't she the president and all that shit? So, of course, that all kind of, like, got to her, and the final straw was Aoi quitting the bad one of the, uh, so, that, that's, like, that's crazy. And, and then, speaking of Aoi's character, like, that also was, like... Is interesting because I would I thought that she would just like just stick around and not really aim for the uh, um, varsity so to speak of the band, but no, she's just quitting all entirely. Which, which she says that she's happy that she quits, but I mean, I don't know like. When you say you quit and you don't like practice the the thing you've been practicing all this time, it feels weird, you know? It feels like like there's this weird feeling of like miss, like you kind of miss that. Plus like she's thinking for I mean, I don't know. And I don't know. I'm thinking it if that if is if I were if I were her and the way I would feel is that I would be like if I had to quit like a, like a club activity, I would definitely miss it all the time. But if I have to really focus on my exams, it would be kind of boring. And so, like I don't know, it just feel it would just be weird. Uh, this weird disjoint feeling of like emptiness. So I guess we'll see how her how her character will develop. I don't think we'll drop her entirely, especially since she lives right next to like where uh, Komiko uh, Kimi, uh, Komiko lives. So I don't think her character's going to be dropped. Maybe she might come back. I don't know. I guess we'll see what happens. But that's interesting. Yeah, but... Damn. It's a lot of things. A lot of things. There's a, there's a, there's a lot to really like go into this episode that I'm not really well equipped on really like talking about. But... But... It's pretty great. This was pretty great. Oh man, I enjoyed it a lot. That was that was nice. Damn. And Mr. Passive Aggressive. I, I love him. I love the guy. He's really growing on me. Oh my god. And then now uh, with the, the love interest that we have going on with uh um uh Hazuki and with uh Su Suichi. Uh, that's interesting. And she's kind of getting jealous. <laughs> so, I don't know about that. Uh, I don't think Suichi likes uh, Kumiko. I think they're just, like, friends. I think... I don't know. That, that's weird. Because every time uh, Kumiko sees uh, Shuichi, she's like, Oh, it's this loser. Right? But, like, she's probably mad. Because I remember, and I remember in episode one, like... They had, like, beef in middle school. Because he said not to talk... Not for her not to talk to him, and that got to her, because I I bet they were really close like, in elementary, and it wasn't until like middle school where they like, had that going on, and now he's trying to reconnect with her, but she's like ah, I don't care about you, so, 
That's interesting, but I don't know how that's going to play out. Uh, we could have Love Triangle, I don't know, but if we do, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I don't know if that's what this show's all about, though, but if that's going to be added in there, I definitely don't mind, because that's some spicy drama that I am willing to watch. So, damn, a lot. Ugh, again, a lot. This was, this was pretty massive. Let's just go into episode uh, fucking eight. Oh god, damn! I don't even. Oh man, yeah. Let's just. Yeah, let's go into it. Episode eight. In three, two, one, play. Yeah. She's like, no. Wow. <laughs> wow, we already already know. She's like, oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a little bit. Just a little tiny bit. Oh. I can't even do it because my hand's fucked up. That is true. Okay. Gotcha. Interesting. All right. I guess we'll see how that plays out hopefully it works out um i can't imagine it wouldn't but uh i don't know we haven't really focused in on suichi so from my perspective i don't it doesn't look like suichi might be interested in uh um and uh hazaki at least that's what it looks like to me which is unfortunate, but it could change. That could change. Guys are pretty simple. Take that from me. I'm a guy. Shit, what time is it? Ooh. It's like, wow. Holy shit. It's a good thing I'm not doing four episodes, otherwise I'd be dead. Oh, Goro. I like how he's just sitting there, like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Hell yeah, my man, Goro, let's go. I believe that. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, oh, she was gonna say it. She was gonna say it. Festival triangle? I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, there, there she goes again. I like how she ignored him. Yeah. <laughs> this is interesting. That's true. He is Mr. Passive Aggressive. Yes, they have improved like a lot. Like actually like a lot. Wow, okay, so he really does like her. Oh my god, really? Oh, wow, I know what he's doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> he really does like her. What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, no. I don't know how to feel about this. I said... Oh, no. Oh. Yes. She's like, I see. Oh shit, she's gonna do it. Sure. Oh man, this hurts. This hurts my soul, actually. Oh, uh, I said I wanted it, but I changed my mind. I don't want it. I don't want the love triangle. Please no. I don't want the love triangle. Please no. I don't want it. Oh god, I take it back. I, I take it back so hard. Oh, I take it back so hard. I take it back.
physical with this kid. <laughs> she just grab. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh god! Oh my god! This is hilarious. Oh my god! Oh. Oh my god. Oh ho 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 Oh my god. Oh. Okay, let's see how this plays out, I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> this is too funny. This is actually too funny. I need a drink. I need to drink a fucking water. Jesus Christ. It's too spicy for me. This is too spicy for me. It's too spicy. And my man Goto, let's go! Oh my god, his ears are red! You just got, did you guys see that? His ears were red. Oh man. More water. Too spicy. Did he say yes? Did he say yes? That's, a, that's her little sister? Wow. Kohaku. I like her shoes. Wow, he really said yes, huh? Interesting. She wants to practice with you. Climbing? I don't know. <laughs> what a weird thing to say to her, too. Yes! Me too! Let's... Hell yeah!
You don't hate pain? I hate pain. What? 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 What did you just say? Did I read that correct? Am I tripping right now? Oh god, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, this is gonna be weird. Oh, this is gonna be so weird. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so weird. Okay, more water. Uh, more water. We need more water, boys. Water down the spice. Oh, water down the spice. Oh god. Oh fuck. Oh god. Oh god. Wow, she's done that surprisingly well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. What is what is happening? Oh god, have attic. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, I agree, actually. I'm sorry, what just happened? Yeah, um, what? <laughs> Except you two.
Whoa. What does that mean with the animation right now? What the fuck? What is happening right now? What is going on? Damn, hell yeah, aim for the stars. That was cute. Oh, wow. Oh, God. I'm glad I'm ending it on this episode, because holy shit. I need to, like, relax. I need to relax hardcore, because I I don't... I don't know how to feel about anything anymore. I don't know anymore. Oh, God, I don't know anything. My mind hurts. My soul hurts. Oh. Oh. Wow, what a good way to end that. Oh, nice. Oh, man. Oh, man. Holy shit, that was a lot of spice. Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, I ask, and I shall be received. I said I want to love triangle. I gotta love square. Right? Is that what I got? Right? No, no, no. No, actually, it's still a love triangle. Actually, it's still a love triangle. Would you look at that? It was a love square for a little bit. Now it's back to a love triangle. At least that's what I think. I, I don't... <sighs> what happened? What happened, guys? What, what happened? What was... What am I watching? What... What am I watching? What am I watching? I thought this was going to be a cute series watching girls play instruments, going into a competition, maybe meeting some rivals, and winning. No, I didn't get that. I didn't get that at all. We got some pretty deep characters, some real characters. They feel real. Not only do they feel real... But the connections between these characters and towards each other feel real. And, and 
there's like romance I don't well not really out of nowhere but like yeah there's romance wow holy shit holy shit I am gonna love this series a lot okay okay all right I'm gained I'm gained I was already hooked I was already hooked this this ep this episode alone made me even more hooked wow I don't know what to talk about I actually don't even know what to even discuss Okay, so it is confirmed that Suichi likes Kumiko. Why? I don't know. Guys are weird. But, uh. Looks like Kosaka likes Kumiko too, I guess. I don't know. I don't know if it's because. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it is. If that's the case or if that's not. I don't know if she wants to be best friends with her or something like that. Because uh, uh, Kosuka is kind of cynical, actually, which I like. I like her character a lot. At first, I was kind of like, eh, because we weren't really highlighting her character that much. She was more of a, a background, not really. Uh, not we weren't really, you know, focused in on her. This was the one episode where we actually got some more focused, um, uh, um, uh, in on her and what her character is like. And she's pretty cynical, and I like that about her. And so I don't really, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. All I know is that this is pretty, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. And uh, if it is what I think it is, if this is gonna go into a route where I think it's gonna go into, it's gonna be pretty great. And it's gonna be pretty crazy. Oh man, dude, this is actually nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. <laughs> I, I really don't know what to say. I'm actually lost for words. Damn. Okay. Wow. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm actually speechless. This anime made me speechless, and um, I lost train of thought. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I just needed to like chill for a little bit and like kind of like process the episode in my head before I like talked about it. But like, I don't really know how to like talk about it because I don't even know what to talk about because I don't really know how to like talk about it. You know what I'm getting? You know, you understand what I'm saying? Oh man. But I will say this. I, f I do feel bad for um, um, Hasuki, Hasuki and her getting rejected. That was crazy. That was probably the most that was literally the most like crazy thing like I've never seen a confession like that I gotta give this anime props I've never seen a confession like that in my life but then again that confession kind of felt kind of realistic in a way at the same time maybe it's because I've watched too much anime but in anime like when people are confessing it's always like dragged out it's always like this weird like focus centric thing Right, it's always like the main thing in the anime. But in real life, it's never like that. In real life, it's always like really awkward or it's like, oh man, like you rush into it. You know, like like that that moment kind of felt real. Like that actually felt like it could have actually like... Like that, it just... I mean, like you don't really do that like, like that. But like it makes sense according with her character. And it also makes sense in like the context of like... That would... You, I would see that. Like, I could actually, like, I can visualize, like, that happening at, like, the lunch table with, like, two different people. And, like, that had, like, just out of nowhere. 
or like outside of school grounds or like anywhere really like that's just like so abruptly and so like not warned right like that's that's crazy that was oh man that was crazy that was crazy but I do feel bad for her and her getting rejected um it sucks it really sucks plus it's not like something you can easily get over with you know so I wonder what her character is gonna go through like how, how it's gonna happen especially since she's gonna try to befriend him and try to help Suichi in conquering uh, Kumiku's heart which I don't think is gonna happen actually or maybe it might I don't know actually I don't know I don't know I don't know what's gonna I don't know what's gonna happen with that I don't think I don't see it happening I really I honest to God don't see Kumiko and Suichi being a thing it could happen I see more uh, I see Kumiko with uh, Kasuka more I see that more even though it might not happen because I don't know if that could be a pairing but I see that more but I don't know what kind of show this is now so I don't even know what's gonna happen so I don't know it's, it's weird this is weird it is very weird it is strange I don't know but I do like their dynamic I like their banter uh, Kumiko and Kosuka's little, like, little talk that was hilarious that was great. I I enjoyed it a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. So I guess we'll see what happens. Good episode title. Um, definitely a love triangle. And I'm kind of excited to see how that's gonna play and uh, how that's gonna go in and uh, plus like the concert and everything, like this is, like these uh plots. This developing so weird. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't know. What else to say? That caught me off guard. This this episode caught me off guard. Everything that happened in this episode caught me off guard. Everything. This episode went by... Like, the pacing on this episode was so weird. This episode felt like... This episode should have been like three episodes. But it's all wrapped up into one episode. If you know what I mean. Like... The uh, the idea of Hasaki asking out Suichi should have been its own thing, but it was wrapped on here. Kosaka befriending uh, Kumiko and all that should have been its own like thing, and like the idea of Hasaki even liking Suichi should have been its own thing. But no, it's all just wrapped in this one episode, and it all coherently makes sense. Like it all flows well. But it's so much. Am I crazy? Am I the only one feeling like this? I don't know. I should stop before I self-destruct. So anyway, I was a cancer man. I hope you enjoy these reactions. And I will see you guys next week for episodes, I believe, 8, 9, and 10. I think. Yeah, hopefully. I guess we'll see what happens. But yeah. Yeah, that was that was great. I'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Get out of here.